Welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus Math Print student course. In this lesson, we show how to convert a complex number from Cartesian form to modulus argument or polar form. Remembering that Cartesian form, Z is equal to X plus YI, and modulus argument form, Z equals RE to the I theta. Our example is the following. We'll let z equal negative root 3 plus i. Part a asks us to write z in modulus argument form. And part b asks us to find z to the power of 6, giving our answer in the form x plus i y, where x and y are elements of the reals. In other words, real numbers. I'm going to show you two ways to do part a. First of all, we need to ensure that we're in radians mode. We press mode, and you can see there that we are in radians mode. We're going to arrow down to highlight real, and then arrow across to highlight R angle theta. And this particular mode is our modulus argument or polar form mode. Press enter. And now what we're going to do is we're going to enter the complex number Z and press enter and the conversion will happen automatically for us. So we press the negation key. Notice we're back on the home screen. Then second X squared and that pastes the square root template onto the home screen and press three. Arrow to the right to get out of the square root then press the addition key and then press our pi e i button it's a multi-tap toggle key and so we've pasted i there onto the home screen and we press enter and notice that the conversion has happened automatically for us and so reading this negative root 3 plus i is equal to 2 e to the 5 pi i all over six. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the mode and we're going to go back into real mode. So we highlight real and press enter. Second mode to quit and go back to the home screen. Then if we arrow up once and up again to highlight our complex number Z in Cartesian form, press enter to bring it down to a new entry line. I'm going to show you now the second way to make the conversion, and this is using the complex number menu. So we press second and then the Pi EI button. It takes us to our complex number tools. And you can see there that if we scroll down, our option four is R angle theta. So in other words, modulus argument form. We press enter to paste that onto the home screen. So basically it's saying we're going to take negative root three plus I and convert it into polar or modulus argument form. Press enter. And once again, we get that answer of two E to the five pi I all over six. So that's part A done. Part B asks us to find Z to the power of six giving our answer in the form X plus IY or Cartesian form. Now, unfortunately, we can't find Z to the power of six directly, but what we can do is we can do it in two stages. So let's take our answer. So press second and then the negation key. And we'll first of all, raise it to the power of three. So we press X to the power button. Enter the three there for the superscript and press enter. And what we've worked out is that Z cubed is equal to eight I. Now to get from Z cubed to Z to the six, all we need to do now is to square that answer. So we uh, press uh, the X squared button. So it's gonna take our previous answer and square it, press enter. And so we find there that Z to the power of six is equal to negative 64. Uh, you can see also that uh, the um, calculator uh, adds to that plus zero i. So if z is 2e to the 5 pi i on 6, then 
z to the 6 is going to be uh, 2 to the 6, which is 64, times e to the 5 pi i, and that's equal to negative 1. And so 64 times negative 1 is negative 64, and that confirms that result there. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.